Hello Mech Warriors, how is it going? And welcome to another episode of Mech Warrior 5 Mercenaries. We are going to repair our mechs today. We're gonna make the direwolf better and we're gonna go for another Heroes of the Inner Sphere mission. Lots of things to do today, so let's not waste any time and go to the next nearest industrial hub, which is, I don't know, probably Michenry here? Down here? Or is it Almak? 34 days to 20 days? I, I, eventually I want to end up here at Raman. So I believe... I believe we can go down here. It's fine. All right. Sorry. Ah, I want to sneeze, but I cannot. Ah, I hate that feeling. Oh, my God. Uh, maybe not today. All right. So, back to Battle Max. We have some problems here. Our Timber Wolf got hit hard and our Dire Wolf as well. So, we got to fix these things. I think you are fine, right? You just got to crit on the LRM-15. Good. Nothing bad happened here. We're going to start the work right away. And yeah, we're gonna take a look at Mr. Timby here. Sadly, he got hit. But I also have the feeling that we can make this mech a little better while we are at it. So let's go ahead and... Oh, uh, let's go ahead and drop these ER mediums. We probably want to upgrade them anyway to higher tier ones. So that's the first thing to do. ER mediums. Bam. All of them tier four now. Beautiful. We have an ER large laser tier 1 that could also be upgraded by something, but I have an idea what I want to do with it, so bear with me for a second. I don't hate the LBX autocannons. They are actually, actually pretty good. So let me think and see if I can find another LB5. No, I don't have another one. I have two Ultra 5s. Huh? Not sure about it. I'm not too sure about it. So here's the thing. My idea is, uh, we, we got we got a very nice goodie, and I hope it works um, in, as intended, as I, I think it would work. Where's that thing? We got a plasma rifle. It is a two-slot two item. The question is, is the plasma rifle a single plasma rifle? Is it good enough? Is it good enough? How much heat would it build? Does it say somewhere? Not really. I guess we have to figure it out. Yeah, that's totally it. But again, I see the problem that I really wanted to get another LB5 in here. And we cannot. Also, the plasma rifle is 6 tons, so it's a little heavy. It's a little, little heavy. I could also take the other plasma rifle, tier 1 only, to have a double. But then I don't think... I think the build would fall apart at that point. Because, here's the thing. Uh, right now... We only have five, five and a half tons, and we have not even put ammo for the uh, plasma rifle in the mech, which we will totally do now. I think a double bin is good enough. Right. And now we basically have just enough ammo to fuel a single LB5, and then again, five tons left over. What are we doing with this? What the hell are we doing? We could drop the engine a little. Not the biggest of deals here. And now we have 10 tons. This is a medium range mech anyway. It's totally fine if it runs 60, oh, sorry, 76 kph. Totally, totally worth it. Um, now we have to wait to put another auto cannon in the mech. I'm half tempted to go rock here, but we don't have enough cooling for this. So LB5 out. Ultra 5 in. That's totally gonna go. Yeah. All right. So, oh god, ammo. There's all oh, the double bins on the market. I'm gonna buy all of them instantly. So we're gonna take one here, one here, one here. And now we have one ton left, which is most likely going to be something around the lines of cooling. Also slick sweet. All right, looking good. The cool thing about the plasma rifle is it has an actual good range, about 500 meters, 900 maximum. It works, it totally works at range. But again, I don't know if one plasma rifle is good enough. I think a pair would be the optimum. But this mech is going to work. Absolutely. So, laser insulator? No. I think I'm gonna just put another regular good old double heatsink kit in the mech. Just like that. Alright. The heat is questionable now, but we will figure it out. Uh, hardened armor? Ferro is not an option. No, we need more slots for that. We have no leg actuators, we have no arm actuators. Pivot point. Ah, cool. Um, arm actuators are not really helping. Alright. I'm sorry, there it was. Okay. 
So compact actuators, weapon mounts give us more cooldown. Or better cooldown on that single location, which is nice. And man, we need one of these mounts. We should really look for them in every single shop. But I guess this is gonna be our build right now, and I think we actually made it a bit better. So, let's -a go, I'd say. Let's -a go. Start the work here. 90 days and 3 million C bills. That hit us hard. Like, really hard. Then, we have our Dire Wolf that lost the left arm, unfortunately, and with it the Thumper Artillery that we just. Oh, just, just bought. Mmm. Means we need to take the ammo out. Means we probably want to get the Ultra Auto Cannon on the torso. So that we don't have to worry about the weapon convergence so much. That's how we do it. ECM goes to the center. I need another double bin of ammo desperately. And this is where we can start thinking about what else to put in the mech. Still have a lot of tonnage, so we could go for another ballistic weapon. Um, which one is it going to be, though? I think at this point we can think about the light rifle barrage. Actually, you guys said I should take light rifles. I'm not gonna take light rifles. All right. So we have a bunch of them now. We have the cooling jacket here, which is probably fine for a lot of weapons on this side. Yeah. The heat per second is not the greatest though. It's very low. So I think I'm gonna drop the jacket. And still and instead. It was free. It's free? Oh boy. Still, I don't need it here, so I think. Ah, it actually has a difference. It makes a difference here. So we're gonna keep it around. We need ammo for this thing. So let's go ahead and put ammo on this thing. Yeah. Light rifle ammo. Is there double? There's no double available. All right, I'm gonna put single bins in there. 34 rounds. Sure. Is two tons enough? Not even close. No. I think I need a ton for every rifle that I have there. Which makes them make a little awkward in terms of cooling. To say the least. But I wanna try this. Another one. Alright. I think we can drop the active probe easily and get another bin of ammo in there. I was thinking about cooling, but maybe we can hold our trigger finger so nothing is gonna happen. Um, I feel like the more optimal way would be adding uh, laser weapons here and just adding a bunch of heat sinks. But I think we can try this. Let's go. Light rifles. Never really tried them. You said they are good. I will. I will check it out. Oh, also upgrades. We have not really taken a look at that. Um, I mean, this is all ballistic, so we're gonna go with ballistic. Range and velocity. Cooldown is... Nah, cooldown is not even needed. Range and velocity is good. Mm, this is mobility. This is target lock. We don't have the ballistic damage upgrade yet, sadly. So I give it armor and structure. A bit more defense is great. And I mean, while we're at it, we might as well drop the ballistic cooldown in there. All right, 1.7 mil, totally, totally worth it. All right, so that is going to be our dire wolf. Cool. So we can now go over here and play the bring her home uh, mission. Maybe I should have taken a look at the market as well. There might have been something that I wanted, but who cares? Who cares? Let's go. So the good news is the refits will be done. Here's a cantina. We can totally kill Manticores and J. Edgars. Collect a cicada. If only I had that mission before, I had one that I dropped. That's okay. So we'll check the market here real quick. We're still looking for heavy. Oh, heavy trench blade tier 3? I'll take it. It's cheap as well. Another light rifle tier 3. I wonder if we could upgrade them to another tier 4 so everything is streamlined. It's a lot of, a lot of investment, but I'll do it. All right, heavy, no, that is crazy. Clan partial wing system, I'll take that thing, definitely. For later, not for now. Rock two double? Oh, we have some already. Shielding support, yes. Another spike fist in case we lose one, why not? Armored cockpit is not bad. 
It's not bad. I'll take it. I know I have a lot of things that I should probably use in my other mechs, but I'm usually... I refrain from making a whole episode being a rebuilding episode, you know? Because if I really wanted to optimize my builds, it'll take two hours. Possibly. Before I figured out what to put where and everything, I, I don't really want to play that. But I want to play a lot of mission on this planet, and this is why I went here. That's beautiful. We might even want to start with the targeted kill missions, because we might find the last parts of our Solaris 7 Black Knight Gladiator. So let's go for the Exiles. It's a medium-sized map. I'll take all of the goodies and some money. 11 million. It doesn't mean we're going to find the, the Waco Rangers here. Probably. Area is under a heavy weather warning. It's going okay. To affect visibility so. Speed. I want... I think the timber is fine here. I think all of these are fine here. Let's drop. Let's drop. I'm willing to invest the 49 days. This is perfectly fine. Uh, and I think at this point we also have our pilots back. Yep. Totally. So you can get swapped out for somebody else who is better. Like Chainsaw. Let's do this. Let's do this. Oh, I like her enthusiasm. And you're fine as well. Okay, here we go, guys. Ready for launch. Mission number one coming up now. So I'm going specifically for these missions because I have three parts of a Solaris 7 Gladiator, Black Knight, and I want to build my first melee mech. I already got a partial wing system. I have two actually now. One clan, one inner sphere. And... I want to make a jumpy and just fly in and punch the crap out of our enemies. Let's see if that's possible. Also, I want a group fire, chain, uh, a group fire group, weapon group for the light rifles, and I also want a chain fire group for these light rifles, in case I need to deal tiny bits of damage to finish something off. All right. Yeah, it's good. Ugh. Eh, I go north first. All right. Maybe we can take them from from the high ground and then not even drop down. Maybe we have to. All right. So we got 170 shots for our light rifles. That is 85 alpha strikes. Uh. All right. Yeah, let's go. We should have gotten more mobility for this particular mission because I, I hate the canyons. It's just not a thing that I enjoy. Ah, let's go over here. Oh, yeah, uh, totally. These things have a massive bullet drop, right? <laughs> they have a nice oof to it, though. Uh-huh. Should be slow on the trigger finger because we don't have unlimited ammo. This is a test run for the light rifles. I don't intend to run them for a long time, but let's see. Maybe they they surprise me. I don't know. Worst case scenario, we still have our ultra auto cannons, so that's the thing. I don't think that we can stay on the high ground, so we're gonna go low, and then. We're gonna go to the... Oh, difficult, man. It's really difficult. Plotting on my, my way here is hard. Yeah, I think we're gonna go northeast afterwards. Try to get the ramp up top again, and then drop down once more to the southeast. Alright, that's how we do it. Decisions were made. Come on, friends. On you. Be fast. Looks like we got some bad intel, Not bad intel as usual. But... Let's hope we have better look at there are the enemies locations. here, right? I want to test run my Gauss my, my Gauss, my rifles. My, just rifles. Hmm. I'm not feeling comfortable. These guns kick like a mule. That's for sure. Is there anybody here? On this side? I don't want anybody to fall in my back. That's the thing. It'd be really bad for us. Oh, there it is. Okay. Um. All right. I get it. I get what you're saying. That was impressive. All right. So these are big alpha strike weapons, huh? Cool. Cool, cool, cool. I think I'm gonna already push. 
let my friends deal with an urban mech if needed. Yeah, I'll take that guy. He has an arrow. Yeah, it's needed. Take him down now, please. Please kill. Um, can you take this? Where's that Irby? Hello? Oh, he's up high. But yeah, we're on it. We're totally on it. Would be nice to act. Oh, to actually sell salvage the arrow because we already got some ammo for it and stuff. Um, yeah, I said I want to go northeast. Let's go northeast. I kind of hoping that we find a bit more than that, like more enemies, bigger enemies. But we are in a targeted kill scenario, so there will be something good in the end. There's an enemy. Panther. Where's he at? Boom! <laughs> All right! All right, I can see it. I can totally see it. All right! I mean, the range is only 445 meters, or 890 maximum. But still, it's good. We totally need to put this on an Omnimac that is a bit faster. So we can get into our desired range a bit faster. And then just Alpha Strike everything. Just stack these light rifles. Holy crap. Yeah, you got me with it. You totally got me. Alright, let's go high. Get to the base. With a bit of luck, we don't even have to drop down below anymore. And then, um, if we have to, we're gonna drop again. Down is easy. Up is hard. Turn our light, it's getting a bit better. All right. So, slow and steady wins the race, huh? Me and my dire wolf, almost alone on the battlefield. We only have three other fools. I have no idea where they're coming from, but they just joined me at some point. And now I'm stuck with them. They go wherever I go, even if I say they should go somewhere else. Because they're AI-controlled mech warriors. Let's do it. Also, by the way, we found an auto cannon five tier three. These are not bad weapons, especially the burst fire auto cannon fives. They, they have some very good DPS at range. We might want to upgrade them to a tier five and even use them, although they are an inner sphere weapon. Because at tier five, they they really excel, really good. Again, it's a long way until we can upgrade. Nice, boring, and simple. But is there more to say about this place? Can't fit them in spoken words then. <laughs> yeah, that's it. I mean, he's not wrong there. He's totally not wrong. Having these rather, you know, large, like, movement simulator missions. It's not really a lot happening here. I like the more action-packed missions. I want to fire my weapons and, you know, see enemies explode in front of me. That's what I'm here for. I don't know if it's true for you as well, but... Uh, the soul getting into position and trying to figure things out. Nothing's really happening. But I guess it's the mercenary life. It's, it's what happens in a war zone. It's not all about shooting. It's about waiting and lying in the dirt and then moving from one point to another. And also finding your targets and then just killing them, right? Let's go. So I want to stay in, uh, stay in regular vision so that I can see the projectiles and the enemies collapsing a bit more. Where are you? Hello? I'm here. Oh, there you are. Ah, I missed that. Partly. <laughs> what? Oh no. Hello, I'm hot. You're dead. What the hell is going on here? Um... Hello? Also, worth noting, my left arm got hit again. Why? Are they specifically aiming for that? Are they that smart? Crazy. So, you can deal a lot of damage with these things instantly. Hmm... It is a close-range headshot thing. Bam. All right, then. All right. So, we need to drop on them again. How do we do that? I think I want to take the ramp down. Yeah. 
And then I hope that Rihanna is dropping in the center of the map and not on the outskirts. Oh, that's not the ramp. Uh oh. Ah, oh, we're fine. We're totally fine. Gliding down gently like a boss. Okay, we made it. Good. Very, very good. Now let's keep going. Yeah, the heat is a bit of a problem of this guy. We can alpha strike maybe twice before we run hot and then we have to manage our heat. Oh, so good. And yeah, ammo. Ammo is a bottleneck on this as well. So if I really wanted to make this happen, I guess I probably just slap all the light rifles possible on this mech and don't even go for the ultra auto cannons. And just make this a big alpha strike. Boom boy. Just like that, you know? That means we can chain fire against like more mobile targets if you really want to get multiple hits out and not miss that one big alpha strike. Then we can chain fire easily, making this kind of like a rotary situation. And uh, if we have a target right in front of us, we do always go alpha to crack him open. <laughs> so good, man. Alright, there's Plasma. Needs to go. Missed that. No, it's our Plasma, never mind. Holy macaroni. Alright, let's go for whatever that fool is. Or was. Alright. What's that? So, we don't kill instantly. We also overheat instantly. Ah, should have watched my heat scale. I'm also horribly stuck. Okay, 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 we're fine. Let's not mess. Let's kill, but we also need to see for that. For that. Okay, there's the dropship. It's on the high ground. Uh, and they dropped right next to Rihanna. Interesting. So yeah, uh, let's get up the high ground then. If I can maneuver myself out of here once more. You got the lead, Commander. Yo guys, you just follow me. Don't you worry about these fools. We're gonna get them soon enough. What? Mongoose spawned right in front of me. Great snipe shot. And we did kill. We did not kill instantly with... F no, five. I wanted to say four, but it's five light rifles. That was not quite enough. Interesting. It was a mongoose. Backstrike against the mongoose. Well, weird. Alright, up here. Man, that overheat was so unfortunate. It hit us hard. But hey, we are a dire wolf. We survived that. Good. So I saw a Kentaro up high. What else? There's probably more than that. See him. But enemies don't tend to drop down. So we have to go up in order to face them. And um, waiting down below for them to drop is usually not a good idea. Just get the high ground. Obi-Wan knew it already. It's just a better ground. Alright. Mech coming up. How do I predict my projectiles here? I know, with a better targeting computer, right? Which we totally have now. Alright. If they stand still for a second, you can aim for it. But if they are moving, the velocity really, really hampers you. Alright. Take him down. You got the missiles. You got the autocannons. That's right. You just need to hit. 800. I could hit him. Ah. Bullet drop was too much. There we go. Enemy destroyed. Good. Destroyed. So, we know that there's still a Kentaro, but what else is there? They didn't just drop two mechs, right? There's more. Come on. Send me some real opponents here. I want a King Crab. I want an Atlas. I want, I don't know, another Dire Wolf. Nope. Enemy mech down. Okay, down they go. Good. This whole thing totally works, but you can see we are down to 10 shots, so basically we are out of ammo. Mm. 
I shouldn't have shot that. I was so sure that we would get out of here now. Oh my god. I mean, the good news is we still have our ultra auto cannons. This is fine. Yeah, come at me, bro. Come at me. Oh, don't come at me. You got four hammers. One down. All right. Two down. Uh, what else is there? Let's go for the hammers first because they are more dangerous than the thunderbolt. All right. And it was totally worth it. Okay. Holy crap. Mm-hmm. I pooped myself for a second. But let's just let's just take something that is fast, like you, my friend. And we're just gonna go. I should really play with that a bit more often because I love missile spam as well. I'm a simple guy. I really am. Look at all these explosive warheads flying to their destiny. Oh. Okay. So, first mission done. Let's get out of here and get some goodies. We didn't find the Solaris 7 Gladiator, though. Uh, the, the Black Knight. But we found some other things. So, let's see what's left over. It's probably just a bit of money value that we get here. Maybe an engine upgrade or... I mean, we, we core our enemies quite often. We should maybe go for legs more. But we also got some headshots out, so there is a chance for getting some engines, which we probably want for build options la later. Ah, so close. Yeah, something like that. Argus. Who are you, Argus? 60 ton. Rack 5. Machine gun targeting computer. LRM. Two mediums. Not bad. Not a bad mech, but I don't think I'm gonna pick it right now. We got the Charger, we got the Banshee. Banshee's not bad. Could take it. Seuss parts, Gauss rifle. It's worth a bit. Warhammer. I don't think I want the Warhammer right now. I don't think I want the Thunderbolt. Crusader is not interesting. Yeah, none of these. None of these. Which means... We're gonna take what we want. So, I'll take- I'll actually take some Argus parts. We might get something good out of this, and we might find some more of these, which is not- not bad. Um, a 285 core is fine. A charger part is fine to sell it. Which is actually... Better than the Argus, I guess. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we could build this charger and have an 80 ton energy based mech, which is not a bad one to have. Or I sell it right away, which is probably more likely. Okay. Invasion support or defense support? Who do we want to side with? Davian. Let's go. Okay. So. I want to do two things. Uh, first of all, sell all this charger salvage because I am not interested in it. I could build it as well. Maybe get the 400 rated engine. Nope. Didn't get lucky. But I, I think it was worth it in the end. Alright. I'm okay with that. So, you guys are a little bit in disrepair, but only little. The most damage that was taken was in the Dire Wolf, which is fine. Which means that we're gonna do another mission. And I think I want to play the other targeted kill, because we can find the Wacko Rangers again. Maybe getting enough reputation to push the Bounty Hunter a bit more. So let's do that. Also, 90 million. Uh, Alright. Go for that, go for that. Okay. So, the other thing I wanted to try is, um, I want to go for my Timberwolf now. Die Wolf is gonna stay. I think I'm gonna take. I don't know. A Zeus instead. Okay, so that's a good squad. The other guys are fine in terms of their damage. Yeah, they are right. They are not in major disrepair. And we're gonna hot swap it to get to the Timber Wolf because I wanna see what we can do with our plasma cannon. See if I can maybe overheat somebody. 
Um, because I believe that our AI friends are not firing as often as I would do. That means that one plasma cannon might help. Because enemies are not firing all of their weapons all the time. But I really want to see if I can shut them down directly. Our targets have given our employer nothing but problems. We've been hired as a solution. Find them and put them down for good. We'll be on standby to evac you once the job is done. Yeah, that's awkward. Hmm. I'll... Oh god, how do I do this? Maybe like this? Weapon group wise? Alrighty then. I kind of want to go there first. Uh, we have to go over it though. Let's see. Oh yeah, and we have these we have these cluster shots, which we can direct, which is important. Um, I hate it when you when you aim at a point and then you turn your torso to to trace your target and your weapon fire still goes to that spot that you aimed initially. Um, that's that's really bad. Oh, hey, let's see. Got a flyer. We got an assault mech down there. Ooh, Night Star. Yeah, our UAV is giving away our position and their position as well. The other way around. Their position and now our position because we shot them. Here comes the cavalry. Ah. I think the Night Star is now on a move. Ooh. Okay, he's down. Yo, guys, follow me. I, I don't need you there on the flank. I need you here with me. All right. There's a tank. Great velocity, by the way. Looks okay. like we're at the wrong place. At the wrong place, as per usual. Must have given us a slip. Let's check out the other locations. Maybe I should not chain fire all the time, but instead group fire my lasers. Just like that. Enemy mech destroyed. Good. Yeah, man. Easy. So let's go and get ourselves a night star? Question mark? Target is down. Uh, I hate this whole back and forth. But I think we have to do it. Let's get the night star. Man, I hope that we can somehow headshot this guy. It would be nice to have it. I love the design of it. It's just beautiful. I get it. There we go. All right. So, we come from the high ground. Uh, they have some more. Let me see. Uh, yeah, I wish I had my 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 jump jets now. Would be nice. We could also hold choke point. Wait for them to come to us. Another UAV would be fantastic, but I think we used both of them already. Oh, uh, let's see. Let's come around the corner then. Nice. Ooh, I think the Timberwolf is actually better than it was before now. That guy. He is the Night Star. I don't want to take point. Where's your head? Somewhere in that direction. We hit him a bunch. Nah. I mean, we got him. But... But the damage. The damage on us and the damage on him is massive. All right. So, uh, we still have one enemy to destroy. It's a quick, quick, quick crap. All right, let's get the queen crap. We're quick. Because there's enemies behind us, and I don't want them to be in our bag while we still have a king crab to destroy. Let's go. Try to go for phase as much as possible, but with a spread weapon, it's not easy. Come on, guys. Attack him, please. Enemies are closing in. Let's go. We hit the head a bunch of time. But now we're getting surrounded. It's just a mongoose. Should be an easy kill. Alright. So we got them all of them. I'm gonna get out of here now. If I can. Locus down. Take the mongoose. It's now. It's another one of those. Nah. Of those Argus's. Got him. So, tank on the flank. I don't want a flank tank. And it's a Shadowhawk. Okay, we can do it. We can just get out of here now. Unless my friends of the Waco Rangers are coming in again. 
LRM20 Ultra Auto Cannon 5 on a 55 tonner. Beautiful build. Nice long range support. I like it. Lots of firepower. Okay. So, Rana is coming down, which means that we are safe. Yeah, we can be back now. Which is, yeah, it's, it's okay. I'll take it. I would have not said no to another engagement with these rangers, but it's okay. Hey, there we go. Easy mission. Night Star, baby. Mm, such a beauty. I would, I would totally take the parts here. We have some parts already. I don't know if they fit together, but let's check it out. And I did my best to go for a headshot, but most of the time we hit center. So again, Argus is here. We have a King Crab. It's not a bad one. I can only pick one Night Star. Blah. Well, I guess I'll take it anyway, because I like this guy. I totally. So 11 parts on top of that. Thunderbolt, Shadowhawk, no. Enforcer, Beagle, Javelin, uh, Rock Ammo, no. It's wondering if the Rock was available here. It is not. So what else do we take then? 11 parts. I think I'll take the Gausses to sell them. And then for one pick... Streak Ammo, I guess? Let's go. Wow, that was fun. That was really good. Okay, guys, we're still in it. Let's go ahead and take the next mission. And I specifically kept my Stone Rhino on the bench for the moment because I want to take this guy out again. So this is attack and defense against House Kurita. It's a very big map. I'll do it anyway. And then, um, I think we're gonna play the Bring Her Home after that. It's gonna be alright. So, all the salvage. I'll take my Rhino. I'll take... Oh, the missile one is maybe still good. Timba needs to be swapped out. I can take the Orion for more missile support. I think this is good here. Yeah. Alright. So, that's how we play it. Let's go. Obviously, we're trying to go for headshots, something like that. We want to try to overpower the base quickly. Also, attack and defend bases usually have high tier turrets. Uh, quad PPC turrets, quad LRM20 turrets, stuff like that. And they have usually very good armor, which means that we probably want to stay away a little and try to snipe them down with our superior range before they can even shoot at us and then engage at the base. That's my plan here. Let's see if it works. Maybe we have to act so quickly that we don't really have the choice. Also, who's gonna stay at the base? I think one of the guys have to. Maybe the Orion. Has some long range. Can defend. Also has clan missiles, which have no minimum range. So even if he's getting pushed, he has some defense. Do we take everybody and just try to be quick? Could also be... Well, let me check it out. Cheers. Alright. I think I'll instantly push the first base. No questions asked. We go for it. Huh? 99% of the base down? Oh, still standing, actually. The other way around. 97. What? Invisible walls. 94. Do I need to preserve ammo? I don't think so. I think we're gonna be fine here. Yeah. Alright then. Max coming in. There's the turret. Okay. We'll deal with the Max first. It's just a cicada. Oh boy. Goodbye! Goodbye! So, base is here. We really need to take the turrets down before anything else. Ah, I 
think I missed it. Let's let's focus. Maybe one of them is destroyed now. There's a mech. It's a summoner. Ooh, we got some goodies here. Nice. I like these random clan uh, occurrences. Okay. We got our first target. It's a banshee. Also, who's shooting me from the side? It's you, Mr. Summoner. I'll take you then. Why not? Easy. Good. So, now on the banshee. Eat critical, I know. Side toss are down, though. Ow. I'm getting a lot of fire here. Oh, no. Jumping, jumping, jumping. Where's the kick crap? We should have him by now. Come on, guys. A bit quicker. Thank you. Spider down. All right. I think there's an Atlas coming up. Yeah. Come on, guys. Attack. I, I don't want to get hurt that much. Atlas. Gauss rifle. ER large laser. And almost destroyed. And another assault mech. Yo, these guys mean business. Marauder 2. Try to go for head again. Whenever possible. Ah, center torso it is then. The risk marauder even. Nice value. That's what I mean. These PPC turrets are dangerous. We want to take him out from range. Okay. Got him. There might be another one. I don't trust that the base is that little defended. Yeah, there it is. Totally gonna use our range advantage and our rate of fire. Insane. Absolutely insane. Good. On the base now. Oh, another one. He's behind cover, right? Independent pirates are now joining the fight. Uh, on our flank. It's okay. That's totally okay. So can we hit this thing now? We can hit it now. Here comes one salvo of missiles. Oh, yeah, it's fine. Okay, good. So... I think this is it for the first base. Now we have to destroy the structure of it and we should be good. I also don't know if I should preserve ammunition. Good. Down they go. Eh. Take him. Oh, that's a miss. All right, we take a lot of damage already, and there's still a secondary base. I know that they are repair base at our base, but it would take so long to get there and back. Mm. I think we took some internal damage thanks to our uh, heat, radical heat sink kit. That's totally it. Okay. 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 Destroy everything. Good news is we have all the friends and we have some allies as well. Rawr. So 44, the base is dropping rapidly. Right. 35, take that, take that. 27. Oh boy, I love wrecking bases. Somebody is destroying mechs. Why? I don't know. Maybe the pirates are coming in. Take that, take that. So, 11%. Let me take a look. I think I can help there. If only I could see my targets. 9%. Are we not done yet? 8. Let's run through the walls. Arr. 3, 2, one. Let's go. Zero percent. Good. Secondary objective. Large-scale VTOL force on friendly base. Uh, we gotta go back. You know what? I, I think I'll, this is one of the rare occasions where I don't push further ahead. Oh, God. 
but instead try to help the base. It's important that we get the Igors down quickly. I think I cannot trust my predictive targeting. It seems weird. God. Oh god. Yeah, that's a lot. But I think we have the majority of the Igors down, which is nice. Take that. Take that, maybe. Good. Good, good, good. Alright. I, I think we even got the majority of them here. Okay. 16 out of 20. Can the base handle the last VTOL? I don't know. Probably. It's only one. Come on, let, let's be real. We intercepted that like a boss. Let's go. Pirates are still here. Uh, mm. Yeah, we good. My right side torso is a little bit of a problem though. So I really hope that we are not running into too much trouble anymore. Take that. Good. Turret. Turret. First try. Who are you? Out of the blue, there is a Phoenix Hawk coming down. Actually, you know what? I feel like the pirates are fighting a wave of enemies that are trying to attack our base currently. Which is nice. That would be so fantastic. Anybody here? Uh-huh. Let me see. Where the hell are you? What are you fighting? Okay, let's go. As a tank, I don't care. I'm gonna push. My friends are gonna come eventually. So I'm just gonna go towards the pirate, which is where I assume more enemies are coming from or sitting right now. Wow, the rage. It's so good, man. Oh yeah, that's a big fight down here. Uh-huh. So the dervish is almost down. Got him. Oh, is this a king crab? Hello. <laughs> Goodbye. God, I love pop tarting. Take the crab, guys. Let's go. Not in, not in line of sight right now. On the Wolby then. There's the crap. I got him headshot, but it was not enough. Oh, ammo low. That's a problem. Stone Rhino running out of ammo is a big problem. Well, we're gonna do what we can. Finish the mission anyway. Good news is, we still have the PPCs. Oh wait, there's a pirate somewhere around. Eh, stuck. Too big, too fat. What, what are you? Carrier. Okay. So, the pirates are down. Secondary mission done. Let's keep pushing that base. That was not the base, right? That's a random other. No, it was. It totally was. Okay. Yeah. It totally is the base. So what I want to do with my Stone Rhino and his amazing range advantage is take down the turrets. And if we run out of ammo, then so be it. Okay. One down. Uh, radical heat sink hit. Failure. Oh, push it, push it, push it, push it down. What? Oh, it's the freaking tank! I thought we got the tank already. No! Okay. Time for the bay? No. Okay. Alright, I'm gonna do a thing here. Uh, let me swap to another mech that I am more comfortable with, like you, my friend. I'm gonna send my stone rhino. Uh... Right here. Okay. And I hope that he's not engaging anything anymore. 
Oh god. And we're just gonna destroy the base. Like a boss. Okay, there's a turret. I don't know if we can hit him from here and if we have any meaningful damage, but... Oh, LRM-20s. So many. Ooh, that side also. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's fine. It's totally fine. We even got an AMSR2 that's helping us out. Oh god, but that pack of missiles is massive. Okay, now wreck the base as quickly as possible. Let's do it. Wait, it's not even the base. Oops. That's the base. Good. 85. And dropping. I hope that my stone rhino just survives. That's what the goal is right now. I know we have a lot of jams going on. Maybe I should just shoot single tap. Fifty-six. Oh, this building is very welcome. Ah, uh, yeah. Let's go. Another one. There's another turret up there with LRMs. Maybe we don't have to engage that thing by just staying here. Did we hit it? It's too smoky. I mean, if we are in minimum range of that guy, he cannot hurt us. So we take it real quick. Come on. Alright. 20%. Almost there. Dude, was that side torso thing the tank or was it my radical heat sink that got hit me? That got hit me. That's what you say, right? That I got hit by internally. Five. Four, three, two, one. Let's go. So, instant, instant evac. There will be a dropship coming down now, trying to intercept us. I don't want to engage that thing at all. Is there? There might not be. Sometimes they will bring more stuff. Uh -oh. Okay. We'll take that. Let's just go. Alright, I think we made it. And the Stone Rhino is intact. It didn't lose the gals. It didn't lose anything. We're out of here. Ooh, what a mission, man. What a mission. It was a good one, though. It's very, very scary. But it also taught us that, first of all, our Stone Rhino is not optimized for heat right now and is not optimized for long missions with ammo count. That is the thing that we learned. And it's good that we learned it. Atlas K. I, uh, it's not exciting. The Marauder 2 is good, though. I would take two parts of it. Yeah, I'll take it. It's fine. I wish I had more picks, but I don't. So I can't. Patchwork. Oh, nice. Uh, but we only have two picks. Medium lasers, always good. Or I could take a heavy gauss double bin for later. It's better than the medium laser right now. It's more exciting. All right. So, quick damage assessment. Did we lose anything internally? Anything? A gauss bin. Okay. I'm happy that gauss ammo cannot explode. I'm very happy. And the turret mount is there, which is so important. Okay. Mobility gyro is gone, but we can replace it again. Nothing major really happening here. The targeting computer. It's a big one, but it gives us a 25% cooldown modifier on top of what we got here with the turret mount. Another 15. It takes a lot of weight. That could be cooling. That could be ammo. I like my jump jets. I think I need to find a way to optimize the build a little. There has to be a way. But we're gonna figure it out in the next episode, guys. I hope you enjoyed it today. If you did, as always, don't forget to leave a rating. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I hope to see you next time. Goodbye.